moving on now and footballer Mary Earps lifted the coveted trophy for Sports Personality of the Year last night. But critics are questioning whether or not she was the right person to win. The England and Manchester goalie beat the likes of jockey Frankie de Tori, golfer Rory McIlroy and cricketer Stuart Board to take home the prize. Uh, joining us now is The Sun's brilliant TV columnist Ali Ross. Uh, Ali, uh, you know, first of all, they moved this uh, once esteemed uh, occasion. It really was. They used to rent out the Birmingham NEC or Ooh. Wembley Arena. Vast arrays of very famous sportsmen from all over the world, you know, filling these auditoria. Uh, this year, and always a Sunday night thing, big occasion on a Sunday night telly, got massive audiences. This year, in a small studio on a Tuesday night, uh, uh, no one there, uh, three women and uh, Gary Lineker presenting. And uh, the, que you know, uh, the, the accusation <laughs> against this... Say what you mean, Gary. Yeah, yeah is that just, I'm just giving you the facts. Just doing my job, giving you the facts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, accusation is it's just disappeared into an abyss of ro Ooh. wokery. Mary Earps is the third woman in a row to win and the second lioness in a mm. row to win. And if Mary Earps had a better sporting year than, for example, Stuart Broad, who finished his fantastic cricketing test match career, uh, with a hitting a six on his last ball it's with the bat and bowling someone out with his last ball with his arm uh, or and or uh, 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 Ronnie O'Sullivan credit to the family of course keep making that joke it gets funnier every time uh, but seriously you know Ronnie uh, O'Sullivan greatest snooker player of all time and what a year he had uh, you know a lot of male sports stars are saying well I don't think we'll ever win again uh, to, to that list, you'd, you'd add Josh Kerr, yeah. the Scottish World 1500 metres champion, who beat Jacobin Gabritsen, which was almost unheard of. No one, no one gave him a prayer. And this is a BBC event as well, the 1500 metres at the World Championships. But you, you, you felt something was up beforehand when you saw that shortlist and thought, well, they're taking no chances here, are they? <laughs> no, yeah. no one who could possibly beat her, including Jude Bellingham as well, was allowed on that list. And I think it was quite deliberate. Yeah. So that, I mean, that is the point, isn't it? Because this is put to a public vote on the shortlist. Mm. Stuart Board, Alfie Hewitt, who's a wheelchair tennis player, Frankie de Tori, Katerina Johnson, Thompson, Johnson, Thompson, Johnson, Thompson, and Rory McIlroy. Strange name, right? yeah. uh, I know. I, was, I feel like it needs more. She, she, she doesn't have so um, many Johnson Thompsons. Got to call her KJT. <laughs> KJT. But, um, but the, the point will. is, the public do get to vote on mm. this, and they chose a woman. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's what you were saying about Colorado there. If they take someone's name off the list, suddenly, ah, it makes it easier for the Democrats, theoretically. Mm -hmm. So if you take off... I think Ronnie O'Sullivan would have romped that if he'd yeah. been on that list last night. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so suddenly you've got someone they want... The BBC wants to win because it's political. And as far as I could tell, she did nothing much other than lose the World Cup and tell someone to F off. And that's what her victory was based on. But it was decided. It's the BBC knows best. And so the, the, the whole event is managed. And she was the first... The first person you saw last night was not one of the presenters. It was Mary Earps. Really? Uh, it, it's, the thought is that it's, it's very manipulated. Yeah, you get, yeah, if you get the... They don't give them alternative uh, choices. No. I mean, the problem with this, uh, I would say, as uh, the, the, the owner of a vagina in this studio, is that... <laughs> uh, I am. I, uh, no way to talk about Kevin. Can I, <laughs> how much... Uh, can I buy it? <laughs> oh, God, no, oh! Oh, gosh. Oh, we're going um, into dangerous uh, territory We are here, getting into yeah. dangerous territory. But the problem is here, of course, is, you know, a, a woman would rightfully say, well, look, every time we bang on, that all these things have been won by men for years, or men get paid more but than us, or this, That's that the and the thing. other. No, no, no. Yeah. If we were to say that, we become sort of, you know, toxic feminists and misandrists. Mm. And yet, uh, the problem we have is that when a woman wins things, it's, it's rigged, it's a stitch-up. And, look, I agree with you, the BBC... No one ever said that about Emma sort of, Raducanu. Yeah, when no, she, when uh, she wins I, it, fine. Fair, women have been winning Sports Personality of the Year for decades without any real objection, even though it, it, it's an odd event. So, for instance, David Steele, a long-forgotten cricketer, has won it. George Best hasn't. Three, year, three women in a row, two lionesses mm. in a row. Jazz uh, beg serious questions. Let's 